boys. <laughs> Squinny boys. Hi. Hi, kids. Good kitty cat, yeah. Huh? Where have we been? Oh, hello and welcome home. And to, to Tuesday. Decided to kind of cut the travel portion of, of today's video short. Uh, we woke up this morning in Phoenix, took a flight from uh, Phoenix to Charlotte, and then from Charlotte to Myrtle Beach. And uh, nothing you haven't seen before. We just did a little traveling and uh, we actually got home a little bit ago. It's 9 p.m. now, but um, we got in probably about 5.30, 5, 5.30. And we went over to my parents' house and showed them some of the, the pictures and videos that we took on the trip. I gotta, I gotta say it feels really weird being back here. Partially because we've been gone a while, but then also because when I was last here, you know, the week before we left, I was, I was in a much different shape. It was right after the surgery and I, I spent a lot of the day like propped up here and just feeling like I was in, in some pain and, and difficult to walk around and you know, now things have changed. Now I'm, I'm doing pretty good. My, uh, all of my bandages have fallen off. My, my stomach is, looks like it's healing really well. Um, so it's, it's very different now to, to be back here. That was a great trip. Yeah. Where are you? I'm petting Cappy. Oh, I turned around and you you were gone. Is it nice to see your boys? Look at him. Oh. Hey, you little sweet thing. Yeah. It's good to see them again. My parents took good care of them while we were gone, as they always do. Yeah, the trip the trip was great, and uh, we always do a reflections video, and we'll probably probably do that tomorrow. Um, talk a little bit more about the trip in detail, but it was wonderful. And and as I'll say it again tomorrow, as I've already said it before, but like a huge thank you to to Mark and Rhonda for for taking us on this trip, but then on these different trips that we've gone to, um, you know, every other year, Ireland, Greece, and then now, you know, out west to see Arizona. It was really cool. Um, Arizona is one of those places that when you think of it in your head, you're like, oh yeah, that's the desert. But when you actually get out there and see it, it's it's neat. And we had seen a pretty good portion because we've been to Tucson a few times and then um, we went through Flagstaff and att attempted to see the Grand Canyon. But this trip was different. Like being able to see all of the things that we saw, all the different uh, the trails and um, actually getting to see the Grand Canyon and experience you know, how incredible it was. All the rocks. Seeing the rocks, getting a chance to taste some of the different towns, literally taste with the food, but then also to experience kind of like how different they are. I mean, Sedona and Page are like super different cities, but they're both in Arizona. Um, and just driving around and seeing how beautiful everything was and how different the landscapes changed from one area to another. I mean, like from like every 30 minutes driving, when you look out the window, things were completely different. It was just... It was really, really neat. So if you live in Arizona and there were things that you saw on this trip that you hadn't experienced yourself, like I urge you to, to, to go visit, especially Antelope Canyon. Like that was just going under there and seeing how beautiful everything was like that. I highly recommend that. That was just, that was just stupendous. Anyway, so now it's, it's about 9 PM. Um, we are running on Pacific time because we were over in Arizona. Um, we, I have like just a tiny, tiny bit of work to do uh, for tomorrow. I got a lot of stuff done while I was on the trip, which I feel thankful about. Got a little bit to do, um, and then we're gonna, I guess, get in bed. You have a cat on you. He's happy. Who's good kitty? Huh? Yes. Oh, he's happy. Oh, he's happy. He's so happy to be with his people. It's dark out, but tomorrow we can see the garden. Oh yeah, we haven't because seen. Because have grown. Yeah. I'm sure that'll be exciting for you because uh -huh. it's been... Your dad said my tomatoes are starting to turn red. Oh, wow. We'll be able to eat some of them soon. Fantastic. I'm really excited. Arizona was a blast, but we'll uh, we'll talk more about it tomorrow. Who's a good boy? Who's a good little furball? Who's a good little furball? Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, as always, 
Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? I'm gonna spend the next little bit just petting these guys. They need some love. Okay, we're back because there's something I should include. Um, I I do have to do a little work, so I just walked into the office um, because I got to take care of just a few things. And when I walked in, I saw something. Mal hasn't seen it yet, and I wanted to at least get your reaction. Do you you should go in there? I think I think it'll it'll catch you by surprise. Oh! <laughs> My parents got us a grill. And it says, happy, what's it say? Happy early sixth anniversary. We love you, mom and dad. <laughs> oh, that was really nice. We, we had been talking about getting a grill, just like this, like just a little tiny charcoal grill. And they got it for us. And it was hiding in the last place I would ever expect to run across a grill. I mean, <laughs> You probably shouldn't grill in the office, um, but <laughs> no. But maybe we'll take it outside. Okay, now the vlog can be over. We're gonna be grilling soon.